should be going. I got it record. I got this game recording also because I plan to put it in my scouting bank. <laughs> All right. Says streaming. Uh, I'm now pressing to refresh my page. See if it still says offline. It's loading now. Yep, you're live. I'm live. Yep, you're live. Alrighty. That's you're about. I'm... I would say about like six minutes behind. Uh, that's his 32. This is 31. No, but a minute behind. About a minute behind. Yeah. Nah, because uh, you don't even have their fourth player or fifth player in there. Oh, he left. That's why. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gonna post this on Facebook and shit while we're waiting, but they can start since I'm already streaming. So. All right, I'll let them know to go ahead and start it up. Start chance like. Yeah. Well, they'll need their other players there. <laughs> start chance select when ready. Facebook and <clears throat> and Twitter. Since we're all waiting anyway. These are BO1s, right? Hmm? This is a BO1? Yeah. <laughs> that guy's their their coach. The guy in spectating with us. Doc is meaty. Yeah, he's their coach. Okay, so he's not their fourth or fifth, I mean. We're still waiting on their last guy. Yeah. <sighs> what transit was this guy on? Holy fuck, it's slow. <laughs> when he said transit, he actually meant the tricycle from his house. That's what I'm fucking thinking. <laughs> was the volume alright on the stream? I wasn't paying attention. Hold on, let me use the Skype call and then I'll right. listen. Yeah, thanks. Because I have no idea if it's actually too loud or my mic's too low or not. Yeah, it's perfect. Alright, sounds good. That's what I want to hear. Hmm. I'm about to get wasted. Man, Bela sounds like she's a lot of fun. Jesus. Yeah, she, uh... Wait, I thought she was already wasted. No, she had something with her family, I guess. 
Oh, because Kyle said that they couldn't play today because their AD carry was wasted. And isn't Baylor their ADC? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe she is. I don't know. But he said that, uh, oh, I know shit. he was telling me. I need to but... talk to Joey. Talk to who? The guy talking to you. <laughs> I gotta oh. set up my game with him. Uh. He, uh, he was telling me that, um, he wasn't playing the first game of the season without her, is what he told me. Yeah, that's also what he told me. And I said, <laughs> suck it up, that's what subs are for. <laughs> We're literally running three different rosters, our starting lineups throughout the season. It's just interchanging our top, our jungle, and our support. <laughs> End the game with 10 CS. I'm hoping he says yes to Tuesday at 10.30, then I can just play both fucking games on the same day and not worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad I was able to set up one of our games for tomorrow. It gives us a whole week to set up the second. I have mature warning on. Yeah, same thing. Uh, can I do like Wednesday or Monday? I'm thinking this sub might actually play a pretty good wild card for uh, Aether Wins. That's if they play it. I don't know what he's doing. I messaged the coach and I was like, last guy literally on a transit? <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't kidding when he said Subway. Yeah, I really don't think so. His, in before his last guy is Jared. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Starts handing out child porn. Oh, Jesus. Fuck, I better put the fucking parental advisory on this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making sure. <laughs> oh, We're all adults here. This is bad. <laughs> and messages. <laughs> this is a fun fucking tournament. That's all I gotta it say. Is. <laughs> Just think, this is game one of nine weeks. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Uh, mature content, inappropriate for younger audiences, and save. And save. NSFW. <laughs> 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 uh, jeez. Might as well just throw this link on my Facebook while we're at it. That's what I did. I threw it on Facebook and Twitter. I couldn't think of anything else. What the hell? I got oh. three notifications. I got three people following me, and that's it. Apparently that was my all my notifications. All right, I need to clean up my friends list. Oh, oh, there we go. That's a sub. I, rec that. I recognize that name. That's a sub. It is a sub. That is sub number three for team... How do you pronounce this shit? Either win or either? Either win. Either win. Alright, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Just testing you. <laughs> <laughs> it actually was a trick question the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Rhetorical. Rhetorical. <laughs> We did it. Yay. Man, every time I hear that, I think of Dora the Explorer. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Hooray. 
Alright, CG twist goes right here. Oh, where did it go? Apparently it didn't go where I wanted you to go. Alright, game one of the CGA series is starting now. Let me get my Twitch chat going because I probably missed the shit I have. Bela, go Bela. <laughs> <laughs> Are we starting? <laughs> Who's the host of the room? Cheddar oh, the cat. Oh, it's Cheddar. Who's AW? Aether one. Oh, gotcha. I was saying their team had the ownership. Cheddar. I wonder if it's either that or reschedule. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna message. There we go. Alright. We have uh, ASG red on the blue side with either wins on the purple. Even though it's red, but we'll just... Uh, we'll go with that. it. Yeah, we'll just... Yeah. I thought we had like a three minute wait. Alright, Sejuani, a brand, if you're a band. The brand's uh, specifically going towards Kyle. Um, waiting for the LeBlanc band. Nothing yet. Skarner. A lot of high priority champions still left on the table, though. Yeah, no kidding. Tom Kench. Not really sure where the Skarner band was going. <laughs> I'm wondering about the Tom <laughs> Kench band over here. The Tom Kench bands, too, also. <laughs> what is this? What do we have going on here, ladies and gentlemen? Definitely feel like Kyle did not do his homework on this. <sighs> well, you can tell Etherwinds did. Yeah, with, with the brand, brand band. Yeah. Wondering if they're gonna target. Oh, they're gonna go with the gangplank. I was really? thinking they were probably gonna target Bela on the last ban. Yeah, I did, I was too busy playing in the top lane to actually pay attention to the other guys when we were playing. The Nautilus pick. First pick Nautilus. That's a flex pick. Could go jungle, top, or or support. More than likely gonna go support though. That's what I was thinking too. More than likely support, but. <laughs> I have seen it. I have seen Twitter play it in the jungle before. So insta lock jinx. We're not playing around with this one. I'd expect Bayla to go vain off of that to counter into the jinx. Yeah, the echo is also a flex pick. All right. I'm looking at the nice is that clairvoyance and revive. <laughs> the troll summoners. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of trolls going on here on the purple team. I expect them to keep it, by the way, going into the game. <laughs> <laughs> so many top lane champions are open. I wonder if it's going to get played. Because really, Fiora was the only targeted top laner there. Oh, Gangplank, I guess, as well. But Darius was left open. I haven't seen much of Frost Cloud, so I don't know how deep his top lane pool is. Yeah, when we played against him, I didn't. He wasn't there either, so I'm not too sure. A Vi, single target. Yeah. They're going to want to get to that Vi, or on the Jinx on the back line. Yeah, I feel like locking this in, though, is definitely just telling your plan too much. Yeah. Uh, I feel like they should have definitely waited on that jungle pick and probably went for their bot lane right there, knowing you already have the Jinx picked. Well, that and knowing you have the Nautilus already picked, then you're going to know the where Nautilus you're going The Nautilus already now. picked, too, yeah. Uh, now they already know the Nautilus is going support. Uh, I wonder if uh, Kyle's going to pick out a LeBlanc here, uh, ASG Koopo, knowing that that's one of his strong champions. Morgana. Oh, Morgana. Morgana Jinx. Morgana's still definitely a flex pick, though. I can see that Echo going top lane. Oh, I already figured the Echo was going top lane. I have a feeling it's going to be a Jinx Morgana bot lane. If that happens, uh, ASG's bot lane better be prepared. Because someone's going to get 
anally probed right there. I feel like the Morgana would be the good pick into Nautilus, though. So I definitely agree that I see it better going bottom than mid. Yeah, spell shield for the hook. Definitely giving your mid laner last priority pick to see what Koopa is going. Which I'm still thinking LeBlanc unless he picked still up. Still thinking LeBlanc. He's been playing a lot of Annie. Yeah, I was going to say, Annie, yeah. <laughs> or Annie, yeah. I saw that. He must not be scared of that because anyone that was spectating him before the game would have known that he was playing Annie. Yeah. I'm but. definitely thinking it's going to be Vane Annie right here. That's my guess. Yeah. The only thing is, if I see, if it comes out to be the Vayne Annie, um, I just really don't see where they're going with this team comp right now. This team comp is looking very sloppy if they lock in a Vayne right now. Yeah, I don't see the comp, but I do see the I do understand where they're going with it, but I mean, I don't see a comp, if you know what I mean. More or less, them just putting themselves on champions they're comfortable on. Yeah, it's just going to be, if he does go the Vayne, which he looks like severe, he's The Severe looks a little better than the Vayne. Yeah, that's better. So now what do you see for the last pick over in uh, Etherwind side? Nothing. What is this dodge? Uh, Bela DC'd, I think. Bela DC'd. So we go back to the same exact route? Um, yeah, everyone goes same bands. Um, okay. Same bands, pick order. Same bands and pick order. So that was a... Uh, Our ADC is a dumbass, so I'm guessing he wasn't going with the Sivir. I'm not fully sure. Uh, I mean, we can't really sec, can't be really see. sure. Um, let me just ask how it's going on. So it's Fjord, Tom. They're subbing out Bela. They're subbing out Bela. Yeah. Our ADC has her friend bitching at her. So that would start. That would start a whole new band pick phase in theory. Nope. Same thing. They're gonna go the same thing. Same thing. Okay. Same bands and picks. I right up to the right up to the last three, right? Yeah. Because the. Uh, I don't. I don't think the Sivir was lock actually in. locked in. Yeah, I don't neither, think neither was the Annie. Okay. They didn't, didn't lock in either at the time. One sec before start. Same picks and bands in order. The last pick for ASG were not locked in. So they want the, they're probably saying they're going to go to Severe Annie. Okay. Looks like. <laughs> Except Sever. <laughs> Except Severe. Because you see. Okay, okay, start. All right, so a little bit of technical difficulties with women, but that's <laughs> normal, I guess. Hopefully she's not watching this. If she is, oh well. Caught gaming, smashed you, Bela. Just get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna happen at least twice a year. <laughs> well. All right, so here we go. I don't remember the exact fans. I remember they had Fiora and Tom Kench on the blue side. Fiora, Tom Kench, and it was, was yeah, it was Sedwani. Yeah, and then the and other they had the brand, brand, brand Skarner. Skarner, and give me a sec, I'll know it. It was something. Oh, Gangplank. Gangplank, yep. Yeah. Gangplank. <clears throat> First pick, Nautilus. Getting back there. <laughs> All right, so this should be a little bit quicker. Just getting in. Still staying with the clarity, clairvoyance, troll summoners. I see. Yeah, I'm gonna laugh if they don't switch them. <laughs> At least they have like permanent vision on the map in that case. Yeah. So Kyle asked if they could pick a new ADC. I said yes because it was not locked in. 
So for those viewing, that is why that they can pick a different ADC from the Sivir. And technically a different mid laner because the Annie was also not locked in. Which really might be a giveaway that uh, the AD carry had to leave because now they know they're playing against Nanny, they have a little more time to talk about what they're going to do. Because uh, Yankee did not have a mid lane picked either. It's true. And I still I don't see Kyle going anywhere other than with the Annie pick right now. Um, this is definitely given Ether wins plenty of time to decide what they want to do with that choice. That is true. So he is going with the Annie. If I recall correctly, Nyako is also a Vayne player, but it looks like he's going to go Graves. Fun fact, have... Kyle banned Graves against Caught Gaming in our scrim because they <laughs> looked up my match history and saw that I was a Graves main. Fun fact, not playing. T uh, I'm not playing AD carry for my team. <laughs> <laughs> wasted Hashtag bands. wasted bans. <laughs> exactly. We laughed so hard <laughs> in uh, Skype. We're all sitting there and we're like, they really just banned Graves on me? <laughs> well, at least I'm not going to AD carry. <laughs> so it is an echo mid, actually, with a NAR top. With a NAR top. Didn't I like the NAR pick into the Darius, though. It's definitely they're definitely a smart choice right now. Yeah. Especially the way the meta's going. Yeah, this is going to be a tough game. I don't... They have Jinx the hyper carry, and Graves does fall off early, or uh, late games, so... He can get going early, though. If he can manage to get going early... Yeah, if he gets in a uh, slight advantage. might be in trouble. Yeah. If he's able to keep his uh, passive up, keep up good trades. I, I haven't seen Aetherwind's bot lane play before. Um, yeah, this will be my first time watching them as well. Not even sure what week uh, we play them in, but that's okay. But I do play ASG Red on Tuesday, hopefully, so this will also help me. There you go. Good little scouting report for yourself. Yeah. There we go, now we're going to set the three minute delay before we get into the game. Alright, time for some Twitch music while we wait. I think I have Twitch Moobot going on here. Uh, apparently that does absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> So what is your prediction going into this game? What do you think is going to take it here? Off of the team comp, solely. Uh, fun fact also, not an echo mid. That is not a an echo mid. J4 mid. Um, from what it looks like here, it does look like Cheta does have the Jarvan locked in with the Ignite, and Echo has the Smite going on. So... That's going to be tough. I'm not sure how Annie goes against Jarvan and vice versa. Not a common one that I see. I think with the uh, the nerf to Jarvan when he lost the armor passive on his shield, on his flag, um, definitely is going to give him a tough time in the lane. Yeah. Annie's going to be able to free poke him. He has really no way of sustainability in that lane right now. Uh, hopefully he does go flask in three pots. If not, I would be kind of scared. Could see a lot of roaming out of him though. Yes. That EQ combo following up with an echo, that's that's a lot of that's a lot of resources for those ganks. Alright, so apparently Mubot is here. There we go, I hear the music now. Through the stream or just through my headphones? I think it's through your headphones. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so the viewers might get a little feedback, a little, a little echo. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay, I don't hear it through the stream, so it gives me something to listen to. You don't hear it through the stream? No, I have the stream muted. Ah, oh, right, me too. That way I don't hear the echo. Yeah. I'll turn my microphone off just till the game starts. Sorry, we only got 15 seconds, then we're going to the loading screen. 
A little echo. Kappa. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go into the game. Loading should be a little bit quicker. Tends to be when you're in spectate. Alright. Let's go into this game. Um, I'm probably just going to give it to my sister team and hope that they could beat them. Awkward moment when client is not responding. When client is oh, not responding. Oh, now I think we're going. Here we go. There we go. Flashy skins on the side of ASG with a full five-man skin team. And I don't have Churro loading yet. But we also already know that Nara doesn't have a skin. Yes, that is true. May have a four-skin team coming. And we do. Looks like we also have ourselves another... Uh, Gravesman with the <laughs> five the mastery icon. Yeah, mastery icon going on here. Um, so we do have Nautilus with a silver one. We have Vi at silver four. We have Darius at plat five. Annie is gold five, and Graves is silver five, and that completes the ASG red team. And then moving over to the either wins team, we have a platinum five Nar, which will be two plat fives battling out in the top lane. Uh, Jinx is a silver three. Uh, with quite a bit of Jinx games under her belt, so I'd like to see how this one goes. Uh, silver 1 Morgana, Gold 2 Jarvan, and a Silver 3 Echo. But with the team comp over, this, over the ranks, I'm going to have to give this one over to uh, Ether Wins. I'm a huge fan of the Jinx Morgana lane, and I want to see how that works out for them. Especially level 2, once you land a binding, if you can follow it up with the Chompers, it's going to be... Yep, it's going to be crazy. They have no way of getting out of it. They have no disengage to stop the engage. The Graves dashes are going to be have to be timed perfectly. <laughs> also, would like to see how much practice these teams have been putting in. I wonder if they're going to just going to go back to the solo queue route going into the game, or they're actually going to try to get some deep boards and. Deep Start fighting. Objectives. I want to see objective control. That's that's what I'm looking to see is over the nine weeks how teams can uh, turn their Progress, objective control yeah. around here. Yeah. I was watching ASG Red yesterday. Um, they were winning a game. They were definitely struggling a little bit to close out a game. Uh, hopefully they don't have that if they do get ahead here. Definitely see that allowing them to fall behind very, very fast. Uh, from experience, I do find that Kupo. I don't know who that guy is and why he just put something in. Top is clipping. That is weird. I am getting on that right now. I would like to ask if that is better when you can listen to me, sir. <laughs> I'm watching it now. You got it. Okay. Got a little too far. I just clipped it. I don't know. Wherever you have it right now on the stream is actually right there. Am I good? Yeah, you could probably pull it up a little bit. Up? But for the most part, yeah. Pull it up and then put it to the left a little bit. Okay, how's that? Just waiting for it to come through on the uh, stream. Yeah. Now it does look like all the champions are 100% on my screen here, so we should be getting into the game very shortly. And uh... Yeah, that should be fine. Those of you in the chat, please let me know if you guys see anything, and I will fix it as soon as possible. And uh, also, those watching, feel free to put hashtag ASG Red Win or hashtag AE Win. Let's see what everyone is thinking tonight. Okay, are you in the game yet? No, I'm still sitting with everyone at 100. Okay, because, I mean, we both join at the same time, so it technically should start at the same time. Yep. And we have our first hashtag AE win.
And it's not even bias or anything, is it, Robot Pirate Ninjas? <laughs> There we go, we have entered the game here. I agree with your averages league there. Definitely curious to see how they play it out. Alright. Alright. None of the players have spawned on my screen. Mine either. I don't know if that's a spectator glitch. Oh, here oh, we looks go. Looks like it's coming up right now. Yeah, that was weird. Alrighty, here we go. Teams are up and ready. Don't looks like J4 is going to go with the flash 3 pot. So we do see standard lane starting off with uh, both bot lanes being in the bot lane and the top laners being solo up there. Looks like they started to plan for an invade, grouped up as four, but for some reason it looks like Graves is falling a little bit behind here. I don't know if he's having DC problems or lag issues. They There's have, the pause. They pause. There's the pause. Up to 15 minutes per team on pauses for those watching and wondering. He's AFK. <laughs> so we go from having a female to having an AFK. Sure Remember which. about like 15 minutes ago when ASG Red was over there rushing Aether Winds to hurry up with their substitute. Now we're about 10 minutes in because <laughs> ASG can't get a Tady carry to play. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No words going down yet though, which is a little surprising. I am wrong actually. Nautilus has dropped one down in the tri bush. Definitely looks like ASG is going to the solo queue logic and uh, just going, getting ready and strutting up their buffs. Yeah, Whereas Aetherwind actually at least has a line forming to watch for the invade. At least they're actually setting up to watch for the invade. That is a very good, everyone is in the right spot. Oh, we have a little CLG spam going on here by Jinx. CLG already broke my heart once this year. <laughs> Sides are still clipping, right side is worse. I will be fixing that right now. Thank you for pointing it out. Minions have spawned. Looks like if you make it a little bit smaller and bring it up to the left a little bit. You're missing about half of the mini map. Alrighty. Alright, I sh should have fixed it now. You guys will let me know as soon as you guys can. Alright, so we have a standard bot lane here. No lane swap. Uh, not. I wasn't really expecting a lane swap between these two teams. Uh, not yet. My FPS has dropped though, so hopefully that doesn't affect the stream. Koopo getting some good damage down on that J4 right there. Uh, oh shit, names, yeah. I'm sorry, but that I play with names off. <laughs> uh, oh my Another god. Another pause coming out. Another pause. Where is the names again? Video? Uh, should be in video. I actually have mine off too. I forget where I turned it off then. Maybe interface. I think it's interface. Yep, in interface under health and resource bars. Oh, sorry, it was underneath my pause. I couldn't see it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I have the names on for those. Look like Vi had a little bit of lag, so they, they paused. Um, didn't look like anybody was in contact at the moment, so. Yeah, so we'll let them go. We have teleports coming from both top laners already. A lot of missed CS happening down in that bot lane, though, right now. Now, the Gnar did start with a longsword 5 health pots. I am questioning it, but I will let it go for now. Nice Looks like it's going to be mainly for either that Black Cleaver rush or that Trinity Force oh, rush. Oh, we have a strong fight in the middle here. Sorry to cut you off there. We have Annie going in with J4. Oh, and the blood. Flash. No. no. The Ignite, is it going to be enough? I don't know why it keeps going Any back potions. to the bot lane. I want to go back to the middle. No, we are good. Alright, back to the bot lane. Looks like we have Graves up by three farm at the moment. Nothing huge. 
your little zap right there. Watching these 280 carries miss all this CS though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we're gonna see how the top lane's moving out. We got nothing down in the bot lane yet. It's like Darius, Darius is definitely buff. pushing pretty hard right there. With a blue buff, yeah. So Vi must have handed that over. That or had blood. The bleed accidentally took it. Uh, yeah, Vi does not have blue. Which could have been the pause for the leg. We are unsure right now. Oh. The blue buff should be giving the Darius an advantage, but he is... Not really the... abusing it at all, though. No, he's an XP behind a little bit. But he does have that heal now with that Q, now that Riot has buffed him for some stupid reason. Nara getting some pretty good <laughs> poke down right there. Not sure why the Nautilus didn't take the stack right there. He's got one coming up that he could have had the cannon for if they would have waited for it. Yeah. Oh, and the pull in by Darius, and just a little bit of poke. Actually, not really sure. Not really sure why you pulled him in right there when you're already losing the trades. Yeah. Does not help that he's lower there. Yeah, he also already had two stacks of Nar's passive on him when he pulled them, so it only made that trade easier for Nar. Morgana bind hits behind the tower, so nothing will be followed. We have a gang. Echo is caught out. And might is that be Echo be first on first blood. blood? No. Oh. The, the minions may have it though. Nope. This no, is definitely. That should be a first blood, and that is first blood going to Darius. Yep. We now have Jarvin roaming up the river to top. A little late on the black shield right there. They Exhaust is down. It. No, nothing's coming up with that. I will Echo go back won't down be able to that. catch up to help out with that fight. But good damage down. Good damage. Yeah. Alright, and lanes go back to normal with ASG Red coming out with first blood. Nautilus trying to get some abuse down. Graves going in. That should be a kill. That should be a kill she going on to that. Nautilus. She misses that. No. Oh, exhaust, the exhaust down on Morgana. I'm not understanding that exhaust. Here we go. No, it looks like there's going to be a little bit of poke. I don't think we're going to see a kill come out of this. That exhaust definitely should have been used on that Nautilus to secure that kill. Nautilus probably would have flashed there, but I would have definitely traded my exhaust for Nautilus's flash. That would just gave Echo such an easy gank later down. The NAR is definitely coming out ahead on this one. <clears throat> okay, we have a Jarvan in the tri bush here. Looks like he is not seen. I don't see a ward in that bush. So the good he... thing for the NAR right now is definitely that he's not allowing the first blood to be snowballed off of. He's only down by 250 in gold. Yeah. At least 700 gold lead here going to ASG from that first blood. Oh, we might have a kill here for the NAR. That is a NAR. Got the jump out, yep. Alright. We have even kills here. Yeah. Looks like the Echo gang coming in on Koopo. With J4 not being level 6, he's definitely being patient and waiting for it. That, that should be a kill. That is a dead Annie. That is a bit any. Mike trade one back. Trade. Oh, Mike. he's trading one for sure with that. Oh, he, oh, he got it. Yeah, that's a trade. That last tick. You Definitely got to pop those potions faster to get the heal going as soon as possible. You know, as a Graves main, I think I would have went in and killed that Jinx by now, knowing that Morgana's snare was down. But I think he's playing scared until he gets his level six, though. I think that's the thing. He definitely wants that, uh... Spot lane has backed. Looks like Darius wasted his teleport to come back to top lane. That's going to give a TP advantage over to Aether Winds if they decide to make a dragon play. I'm kind of curious. I'm only will see the first dragon go down. And if there will or will not be a fight. Uh, now also with that Nar taking that kill on Darius, he does come out with a blue buff. Which, uh, from the CS here, he is 9 CS up. Blue buff may help him, even though he doesn't need, uh, you know, any mana. That 10 CS lead is definitely significant, because 
like I said before, he, Darius did got no gold lead advantage off of that first blood. Yep. And right now it's completely tied up. Yeah, we have a 10 CS plus a kill. Cheddar might be dead here. Oh, I has ult up. Yep. Vi does stun, and there goes another kill. And that one goes on to the Annie, who is now 2 and 1. Now, I did mention in Champ Select that uh, mid laner is normally their carrier. Um, but we get to see here if he will uh, help his team out with that lead or if he'll keep that to himself. I talked to him privately at one point in time. He did mention to me before that he did have a problem with taking too many kills. So seeing if he does let those kills go over to his teammates is going to be big. I'm questioning this Darius. He keeps pulling in a, a Nara that's, that's ahead beat of him. Uh, he's just getting poked out. It was a good pick on the Nar for sure. The Mega Nar is definitely coming up. I I really want to see if they use this TP advantage at all. They got half a TP left on Darius. We got Dragon warded up and uh, also Red with the Tribush ward. Allowing Jarvan to know if that bush will be warded, which it looks like Nos is going up to ward now. Looks like he just missed that pink ward on his path down. Blue, ASG red should definitely know that they're coming. Yeah, he's pinged out. Yeah. Walked right over that pink ward that he did miss. Let's see if he checks that bush on his way back through. Nope. Walked right through it again. Walked right through oh, it. Oh, Nar going in again. Hard on Darius. Nar should have this, even with the ultimate. I, I don't this think... This is going to be a close fight. Is he going to finish oh, it, or is Darius going to... He stepped too far back. Yeah. Darius had right flash. He might have flashed out as well. No, he's... He, he really wants oh. it. Wow. Well, there is the flash. And that should be a kill secure, hopefully, by this fight. Uh, yep, with the no. jump. Nope. No. Oh my god, that's slow. Alright, we'll take the flash, but he does Two secure Two flashes the kill. to kill Nar, yep. <laughs> Two flashes for one. I don't think he'll mind. He is a kill, or a 12 CS up, actually. Yep. So I think the gold should be even. Uh, and that they finally lane. found that pink ward that was spawning out J4. Yeah, top lane is actually only 100 gold up for the Darius right now. Which, with the poke, I don't think is significant enough. Alright, here we go. Our first real skirmish down in the bot lane. Another and pause. And pause while a skirmish is going on. I don't know... What's going on? Jinx started lagging. Um... Right there, unpausing. Here we go. All right. Apparently, my directed camera does not want to work. <laughs> <laughs> I try to move my mouse and it just fucks off. They've gotten nothing off of the teleport advantage. Uh, Nara was able to keep holding onto his, but Darius has his back now. Yeah. Both flashes are down in the top lane, so I'm wondering if the junglers will, or at least the Echo, as he still has his, Vi used his to secure the kill on Nar. Good, Good little dash right there. Pull, alright. Late on the black shield. Got the shield. TV coming down from Darius right now. Uh, the black shield was very late on that. Nar and doesn't follow. Oh, Jarvan's here, and that heal is down. There is goes the heal. Dead AD Michael carry. is gone. Might cost Jay for his life. Uh, is he gonna bad do an EQ? Bad pathing by Annie right there. Bad pathing. EQ combo. No, what a hook! What a hook! I believe that was full range too. That was great. Ooh, that Twitter is a cutout by. Yep. Goodbye, Twitter. Yep. They're gonna trade top top tower for this too. Yes, Nar is going to take that top tower advantage. If not, he's going to get a serious damage down on it. Are we going to see a dragon fight, though? Yeah, here is dragon. I don't I don't think ASG can really fight for this right now. Oh. Your jungler is down. Yeah, but you know how teams are. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Jungler's I mean, down, send it, the but... support. So it turns out to be a two for one. With a dragon. With losing a dragon and a tower, so that was definitely an Aether Wind's favor. Uh, still up in gold by 500 though, um, on the ASG red side. Looks like the only thing keeping them in their game right now is the Vi and the Annie. The only two lanes that are actually winning in gold. Yes, I do find that the mid and the uh, jungler do have great synergy when it comes to ASG red. They just gotta work that around their whole team. Darius has been getting poked out with uh, Vi only coming up actually to take the kill after Darius had flashed behind tower. A little late on the gank. By taking red, we have Nar with the lane advantage. Mega Nar just being used. One thing I would like to point out is just look at how many wards are on Aetherwind's inventory right now compared to ASG Red's. So many pink wards set down for ASG Red right now. Well, we have Echo and J4 just sitting on them and Nar. I would like to uh, thank Robot Pirate Ninja for letting me know that I could change this this far into the game. I really appreciate it, you jerk. <laughs> that should be a dead J4. That is a dead J4. Press D, and hopefully that fixes itself because this is pissing me off right now. It is not. There we go. Now it's going. Still the screen messing up? Yeah, I got it now. Alright. And we do have the NOS going in, and Grazal has been used. Um, a little early, a little early. Definitely a little early, yes. Are they going to turn this fight around? They're not going to no. turn this around. Gonna that Jinx is people. definitely too scary to go in. You got Vi and Annie coming in. This is going to be a double. This is going to be two deaths. And that is definitely a kill going down to the 80 carry on Jinx. And will he get a double kill? No. Twitter does take the kill, and that will trade a kill. Twitter will go down to the tower. Oh, two Nar. For one, though. Nar, oh, beautiful though. Gnarl. And that is two Nar. for two. What a Gnar play. Can the J... F they got... They got, uh, they got Nautilus also. That's two for three right now. And there's another kill. There's four for two. Four, four for, for two. two. Darius did not have teleport up, so we could not join the fight. Oh, Smite used on the cannon minion there. Very powerful. Now it does even up gold after that four kills though for Aether Winds. I wish Aether Winds would have grouped up his three right there and just pushed one of those two lanes. I don't know why they all split up into different sections of the map. They could have definitely got an objective out of that. Yeah. Now they're going to trade that top tower. And that puts ASG Red back up top and by 700 gold, 800 gold. Fives over there taking her blue buff. Look like Echo's doing the same, so they're not giving it to the mid laners. Really surprising. I thought they would really give it to the Annie. Knowing that she's got the best score of the game right now with 420. Clearing the ward inside the pink. little poke going out from the Jinx here. And that will be a ward going down. Insert LCS crowd cheering right now. <laughs> That's what I get to get, a soundboard for LCS. <laughs> Graves up by 10 CS. Uh, is going to make that a little bit larger. Uh, now that the lane is pushing towards the Jinx, she will come in and take some farm. Nautilus has got to use those relic shield stacks. I don't know why he's sitting on him so long. Gotta be some kind of communication error between the 80 carry and support right there. That is a sub 80 carry, you gotta remember that. They may not have the best communication between the two. Remember the last time I was talking about it, actually, it seems like Nako doesn't even talk in the chat for some reason. So there definitely probably is some type of communication barrier right there. Oh, will they see that pink ward? Yes, they will. They're clearing that pink, but red has pinged it. Will they make a play towards it? 
J4 and NAR are moving towards it. Good little ward right there. Sweeper is going to be used though. Well, on the bright side, I have yet to see ASG miss a pink ward, and that is no offense to Cheddar the Cat. <laughs> we do have a even score here when it comes to kills, but gold is 1k up for ASG red. Dragon need to find is a way. up. We need to find a way to shut down that Annie right now. I do find it Half weird health. knowing that uh, knowing that Dragon was coming up that Team Etherwinds did not have any wards set up around Dragon. Um, actually there are no wards directly on Dragon other than the closest ward being... Oh, I will stop myself to watch that kill as the Jarvan goes down for the fifth time this game. The most deaths this game. You gotta use that flash for the EQ combo, he's sitting on it way too long. A little bit of poke coming out. Now I do see the anti Roman down to put wards on that dragon. I that should be a dragon going over to ASG Red. If they don't get it, I don't know what they're doing. I do see the bot lane coming. Echo is coming down. Jarvan is still down for five seconds with no teleport. That should go to blue, which it does. And no lives were lost during that. Now I'm still waiting for the first mid, ta mid tower to go down here. Now I do see uh, some chat going on about the J4 pick. It is unconventional, uh, but we'll see if it has its impact later on in this game. And a pink ward goes down. Way to go. Thank you, <laughs> Hayareki. And another one. Oh, pink ward wrecking machine right here. It's free gold right there. And this should be the bot tower going down for Jinx. <laughs> It's going to tie it up a little bit more. Still 1k gold down. Bot lane is backing, giving uh, ASG Red the chance to take this bot tower. No, they have cancelled their backs. Nautilus has got to help him push it if they want to take this bot tower. Him standing yeah. out on the side is not going to help that cause. Maybe he should use his stacks. Oh, Those the stacks. hook on the Jinx. The ult has been used. Black shield is down. Up. It should be a or kill. Did block the ult ult. No way. Oh. No way did Morgana And you have the Echo that. and the J4 coming. Everything is down on AC Red. Teleport in from there the There is Darius. double teleport. Both well, teleports are coming in right now. But there's going to be no kills more than likely. No, I think the Nautilus may go down here to this Echo. Yep. Oh, Echo walked away from it. Darius Why got did Echo walk away? So far, it's a two for two with the Darius kill pending. Perfect, yep. there we go. Two for two. Now, the Echo did leave the Jarvan to solo kill the Graves, which I found a little weird not helping him out and helping him escape. Maybe a little bit of miscommunication there, I don't know. Maybe that was the plan. Might have been. We do have Annie still sitting at 6 and 2, holding over 50% of the team's kills. A little bit of little crab captured right there. Yes. Look out. Think back. And still, no jungler giving over their blue. Coaches, why do you do this? <laughs> Just deprived mid laners. That Nar is looking scary at three and one with uh looks the like frozen twenty three no twenty-five CS over the Darius. 
with Annie with 20 CS over the Jarvan. And 25 CS for Graves over Jinx. The thing to note is a lot of Annie kills are coming from the same exact person over and over. Cheddar's gold value is just dropping each and every time. It was reset, uh, but I believe Graves might have taken that kill. I believe it was Annie. It was Annie? Okay. Yeah, so I think that was Annie's sixth kill. So that was refreshed before value. he killed, yeah. Because he did kill the Nautilus beforehand. And another pink ward. Will it be seen? Yes, it will. Looks like ASG wants to pressure this mid lane here. Now it is a 5v4 if anything gets heated. Graves is in the bot lane trying to take down the bot tower. They have pink for him to go for that tower, so they do not want him to come up to mid lane. He is going to push that tower by himself. Uh, Aether no Wings has to do something with us, though. Yeah, it's with a 4v5 five. Five right now. Darius isn't even grouped. He's off on the side. Both teams now have two towers down. Mid laners, st mid tower still A lot stuck. of damage down. A lot of damage. That's oh, a kill. Oh, that is a jinx kill. And they're looking to go for the Darius now. Should be a capture. There's a stun into the Gnarl. Stun into that the Annie's going to get a lot of damage down, though. They oh. need to focus that Annie. Graves is poking from the outside. He might pick up a few kills here with one. The one two one. Graves. That's a double kill. And possibly a triple kill. That is a triple kill going to Graves. Can he get the Quadra? He's going this is for it. be Wings fight. This has to be Wings fight. Or Red's fight. And he's going for the... Oh, the Annie is shut down. Turn, turn, turn. Just get the Quadra. Get the Quadra. There we go. Turn. Uh, maybe a Penta. Our first Penta. Nope. That is an unofficial Penta to Graves, so that will not count. If... If I hear, listen, I don't know how to speak Greek, so I will call it either wings as long as I want. Robot pirate ninjas. <laughs> Pick a common name that English people can speak, and uh, we'll be okay. <laughs> it's gonna be mid tower going down for red. They are using this. This eighty carry is now six and two. Five kills brings him up. It's, the it's gonna be hard to go back to Bela after the six and two performance, though. Oh, it's wind. I get it. He's getting mad at us for saying wings instead of wind. It is aether <laughs> wind. Gotcha. Gotcha. We have made a note of that. Yes, my sub killed them all. We have Bela over here cheering for ASG Red. I've seen that hashtag ASG a few times from her. That would have been you, and you probably would have got the Penta if your friend was not over, <laughs> just so you're aware there, Bela. Now we have a 3k gold over on ASG. Will they keep it going, or will they throw it? We will find out. Let's see what happens with this dragon fight. Nar does have teleport. I feel like there will be a fight on this dragon. Vi's already at half health. Is she going to back though? To keep in mind, Nar did just come out of Mega. So he won't have it for the fight if it happens in the next couple seconds. We have three of them in the. They could start, no, nope, potentially taking Dragon if... Now they're starting to work on that top tier too right now. Both Back teleports up. are up. Both teleports are up, so look to see a double teleport coming in before this fight. Or during the fight. Stun on the Jarvan. But he got the EQ off. Uh, there's a... Uh, yes, the Jarvan's way. Nautilus all down. Nautilus, it possibly might go down as well though. There comes uh, Darius right now. Nar is not going to bring the teleport, he's already here walking. That will give him teleport, so he may teleport top lane to push that after this fight if it goes down. Aether Wings has got to fight, uh, force this dragon right now. Nautilus is out of the fight. Oh, that might be an anti catch. There Annie it is. is down. They got it, that's exactly what they needed. Jungler and mid laner going down. Top laner might also be going down. Top laner down. Is this going to be a clean ace? Uh, Nautilus is on his way. Just go back and get no. the dragon. That's all you gotta do. That should be a free dragon going over to the side of Aether Wind. And 
And are we going to see a potential try to steal from the Nautilus here? Don't know what he's doing, knowing the team is circling him. Oh, the knockoff from Jarvan. The bind isn't there, though. Bind is missed. Nautilus should get away scot-free here. He will walk away with half his health still. Brings it back to just... 500 to six, 600 gold. Yeah. Five, 600 gold. Definitely keeping the game close. Turrets are tied up, but one dragon up. Farm in the mid lane has started to equal up. We're only down by 10 now from the e er, earlier 20. We have the mid lane, or the 80 carry still up by 20, and top lane is up by 13, now, now 12. Well, 12, 12. The Vi is just destroying the Echo and farm right now, though. Oh, yeah. Up by 40. Now I'm gonna have you keep in mind and not let me know until after the game. We'll we'll privately talk about it. But I do want to pick an MVP for the game, and I'll put, post that also on the Cock Gaming website, guys. Uh, MVPs of each game, and then at the end I will pick one for each week. Graves missed the dash. Annie was able to catch the Jinx, but Graves missed the dash. That's Graves and Jinx going down. Graves and Jinx going. Both AD carries are down. Also the Annie getting double the double kill. kill. Nar is just way too far out to help on this fight. Yeah, here's Koopa missed the flag. He, he missed the flag. Use. Koopa using that damage that he has gained from that early advantage. And that should be a dead Nar. That is it should nice. Be a nice pull in by the Darius. The apprehend was during the Nar jump. This should be an inhib right here. At least the tower. No, they're going to back off. Are they going to go for the Baron? This is a totally different ASG red team from last week. They seem to be playing a little bit more together. Echo is around, so there's potential to steal. No ward. Oh, he jumps way in. He went early. way too early. Way too early. They're not focusing him though, they're not focusing. not focusing. He's might no, he did not. No, he didn't get in, the alt wasn't there. He does go down. And Cheddar goes in for some reason that I'm unsure of. But this may give Jinx the This may be an ace though. They're all yeah. low. Jinx is gonna go by, he's gonna go down. Two two down. Uh the minion oh, saves. The minion saves Frost Cloud here. Uh Nar is Nar's there, gonna Nar's finish there. that. Hundred percent finishes that. Stay right there and push that tier 2 right there is what they should do. We do have Graves going down to the bot lane, not going to stay up at the top lane to keep that tower up. We do have IE, Phantom Dancer, and Ghostblade down on Graves. With the Jinx coming with a uh, Affinity Edge, Static Shiv, and a Last Whisper. I do feel like the Jinx has the better build in this one, though. For sure. I don't feel like the Ghost Blade is going to really do much for the Graves at this point. Nautilus so Alt definitely wasted. definitely went for the Last Whisper. I definitely feel the Nautilus Alt was wasted there. Uh, but the hook Flash. is on the Jinx. The main the carry pile. is down. Uh, everyone else should escape. I highly doubt Morgana's gonna get caught here unless Vi uses. Nope, with the binding. Oh, Vi's ult is down on cooldown. Yeah, she just used it to kill the Jinx. Three, three kill advantage over to ASG Red still. The gold lead is just piling up for ASG Red. That ASG red, red buff has been sitting up for about two and a half minutes right now. I want to see how long they let it just sit there. Graves really should have picked that up on his way down. When he was down on the bottom side. They do have barons, so... I want to see them use this minions. But they're not grouping. I really should have grouped with the minions to take out a tower. 
This Graves hitting that zap on minions for the second time now that I've seen in a row. Looks like they only have the Baron buff in one lane right now. They're not really utilizing it. And they also do have the Graves caught. on the outside. That might be a dead Nautilus. No, Graves nope. is here. But you got the Echo coming. Uh, Vi is pushing mid at the same time. just misses. They leave Graves. That was a very risky play there by Aetherwind here. So far it's a 2 for 2 it looks like it's going to be. But the Jinx was able to solo the Darius. So that play does come out in Aetherwind's favor. I don't like the call even the Graves there. They He did kill, I believe it was the Morgana. It was the Echo. It was the Echo? I was paying attention to the other fight at the same time. <laughs> but he did kill him where he should have been dead. I know they wanted the Annie who may have a little more gold under her belt, but I highly doubt it. No, to note, Graves Red Buff finally going down. To note, Graves did not use his heal or his flash in that fight to reposition himself. I don't know. These team fights are somehow going in the advantage of ASG with uh, coming slowly with two kills ahead, but find that team fighting is not the best it could be. This is exactly where it comes into the ability to close out games. They had the 5k go lead with two Baron buffs still remaining after the Baron was killed and they've gotten nothing out of the Baron power play right now. Yep. If anything they've actually lost part of their gold lead from it. We are gonna see a dragon at least scrum. Morgana with the nice black shield. Ooh that crit on the Morgana. Morgana got away. Good flash, and that's Jinx dead. Jinx dead this With the dragon being secured. Jarvan, again, EQing himself into a spot. I don't know why he's doing that. Dragon's I feel like there's a lot of communication problems going on on both teams right now. A lot of people are out of position. I agree. Jarvan is backing now. Does have home guard, so he will be back in that mid lane. Jinx is down for 20 seconds. Let's see how good their sieging potential is. The hook is missed. No Baron buff minions. And the Annie has been caught. Uses Zonia's early. And nice Annie goes it. down. They did get the inhib tower though. Right now it's a one for one and the inhib tower. Fight is still resisting. We Jinx is coming on the in with Graves might take down the Echo. No, he gets. Echo Jinx, stays you gotta alive. keep firing rockets there. Darius might live. Uh, Vi is not gonna go down there. Missed. And there we go. Graves picks up another kill, giving him and Koopa. Oh, and another kill. ASG putting a lot of kills into their mid and their AD carry. Getting hyper because she oh, be able to catch up. True no, missed. misses the zap. They just have not been on point this game. I feel like the Jinx has just been a little lackluster, honestly. Not compared to the, the graves, game. definitely. I'd be surprised if it's something that's not addressed going into the next game. I agree. A lot of skills missed. They should have been hit. Right. Mid is back to being an even lane here with just slightly pushing in either wind. Uh, <laughs> I have to pronounce that properly or I'll get yelled. Uh, no, your average leader, this is not a best five. It is a, a one. There are two games per teams um, per week. You can check us out at cockgaming.webs.com. Check out the schedule and the rosters there. As long as standings, too. And standings will be there as well. And as well as the MVP of this game, which I will be posting in a a forum that I will make later, <laughs> followed by uh, the MVP of the week after all the game's been done and I look at all the scores and I get the reactions from other players. This play is definitely going to test the patience of Aetherwing.
Meganar is up right now. Jumped on to the Annie. But he has no He's follow up. By himself. No follow okay, up. here we go. Jarvan does jump on the Graves. A lot they of damage. The down. He is putting a lot of damage back into that Jarvan, but the Graves does Graves go down. Is down. The Annie Followed is down. The Annie. Darius, Darius is, is going ham. Darius is the last one alive on his team, though. Will he get another kill at least? A good kite. Beautiful kite. Beautiful from kite by the Jinx there. Don't go for the Baron. Just push down that mid lane. You have an ace. 35 seconds. What a great fight. For a second, we thought the Nar was an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Your word's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> it looks hey. like they're not going to get any towers out of this. They're just going to go try to get the Baron. I don't understand. Again, these rotations from Aetherwind. The that, uh, that is a bad call. That Echo is not I'm not understanding these calls from Aetherwind at all right now. No, that was a very bad call. They should have been taking out a tower there. <clears throat> Let's see if Jinx gets rid of those home guards and goes into Furors for the kiting ability. Doesn't really need them anymore. I don't know. I wanted to see how much longer she just sits on them. Yeah. And those for you that haven't already, don't forget to follow our Twitch and our Twitter, which is at Um And you will get our notifications when we start streaming again and when the next games are on. Well, we're in this little lull. Support fight. Morgana doing absolutely no damage thanks to that shield from <laughs> Nautilus. <laughs> the DPS is too real. <laughs> Jinx sold her trinket, but bought nothing. <laughs> I want, I, I'm not sure what's going on here with Aether Wind. Uh, I have to imagine the coach is going to have... I'm going to have to ask the coach headache. if Robot Pirate Ninjas could answer that question for us here in the chat. That would be lovely. If you could uh, explain to us why Jinx did not... The fight is breaking out though. we got the Darius Teleport B in time. Our ult has been used. Team. Morgana that alt down. Darius teleport with wards behind Aetherwind. This Wind. fight is going in Aetherwind's favor right now. With Frostcloud though, just doing as much damage as humanly possible right now. That Darius teleport lost them. Graves that fight is back, he might go in. That Oh, he might pick up the kills. Oh. Graves turning this fight around. What a play by Graves. Ace. That fight was way closer than it had to be. You had wards right behind Aetherwinds the whole time. I don't know why you teleported so far away from your team. Naiko is just putting this team on his back. He's going to go for a solo dragon here, I think. Uh, with the closest person up being his own teammate, Annie. Uh, not going for dragon, apparently. He's going to go for that inhib, which he does have 20 Nor seconds the on the clock. Robot Pirate Ninjas does say he has some things to say about this game. <laughs> uh, just so you know, your Jinx did pick up the scry Scrying Orb there. She did buy it back. Looks like she's going to go into what I assume to be a Blade of the Ruin King for her last item. Not really sure why. Yeah, I would have thought a... Uh, some type QSS. of defensive item. Yeah, QSS coming out for the Vialt at least. At least, at least the Banshee's Veal. This dragon will go over to the hands of ASG Red, not contested. Jinx Salt does hit Nyako, but does not kill him. It looks like we will have a bearing fight as we have Jinx and Morgana rolling over there. Nar is pushing that mid lane. Vi is backing, and oh, he's going to kill that ward and then possibly back. Oh. Curious what this J4 is going to build this blood or BF sword into. Now we do have five Banshee Veils on the plate right now. One being on the Graves, one being on the Vi, the Darius, the Nar, and I did see one more there, and it is on the Echo. A lot of stuff it will be negated here. 
comes down to just making sure you're not getting hit by pointless abilities. A Nar boomerang that could take down a Banshee's Veil could be a play difference. Now the Jarvan going full AD does get almost three hit by this Graves. So I'd like to see better positioning on that Jarvan. I know he wants to go in on that Graves, but that is not the smart thing to do right now. Aether wins is heading over towards that Baron. Thinking Jinx is gonna go secure that red buff before anything. Blue just pinged bot tower. If Graves goes down here, this may be the game. No. Aether wins is going to the uh, that top farm. They got they're sending two. The second sending they see too that many graves. people to that top farm right now. If they see that graves, they should be heading to Baron. Uh, they do Missed have an the open. Landing. They do have an open in hit or uh, in hip down. Now I'm confused why the the pool did not pop by his Banshee's deal. Unless it just missed her. Yeah, it might have missed her, I'm not sure. I didn't. Annie does have stun up. Look for a... F no, no flash up. Two flashes being up, four ASG being on the support and the jungle. And the support and mid laner of Aether Wind does have their flash down as well. Nyako has meta back up with the team. Meganar is coming out right now. I would like to see a fight here out of Aether Wind now. Now that Meganar's up. They just don't have the positioning for it. Darius is waiting off in the side wing there. Vi looks like she's getting ready to go in. No. Oh. Darius is sitting in that side wing though, looking to maybe get a pull over or something. Another and the Jinx is caught. Jinx, Jinx is, caught. is caught. There we go. Here comes a fight. This could be the game right here. I'm looking for Jarvan to Jinx go down is here. Down. Graves Jarvan is, is down. still peeling. Graves is still life stealing. Echo ult and flash. Actually, I like there's game. no life steal on that Graves. Morgana is backing. That is a three for O so far. That could be the game. Should it be is, the game. It is up to Nar. Actually, there have been GGs going around. And that should be the game. There we go, folks. We do have ASG winning the first game of the COT Gaming Amateur Series. Congratulations. And I think I speak for everyone here. I'm going to give the MVP over to the Graves. I can't disagree. He definitely stepped up big. Carried that as a sub. No offense, Bela. I know you are watching. Let's look over some damage here. Um, that's what I want to see. Let's go over to the graph. Why is it not letting me go to graph? There that we go. Jinx actually out damaged everyone. And damage done. Oops. Damage dealt to champions. Yeah, Jinx has the most, followed by the Graves. Now, I do feel like the Graves had a bigger, better positioning in this game, I guess, is the best way to go with that. And I do have ASG Kupo giving me a wink face. Knowing that his team did come on top there. But I would like to congratulate both teams on their first game. Uh, well played by ASG coming out with that win. That Graves just was on point. I liked it. Definitely some glaring holes on both sides though. Yeah, it was a miscommunication by both teams there. Also, uh, positioning was off. A last fight there going because Jinx was hooked in the where he shouldn't have been really. And that just comes down to like the lack of defensive item. Like I don't understand why she was going for that blade of the Worm King for her sixth item. Yeah. If she had that Banshee's fail right there. She would have been perfectly fine. Most gold going to the Grays, followed by the Jinx. So the Jinx did have enough. I th looking at the item build here. If she wouldn't have bought the Blood Water, she would have had enough for the QSS at least. If she wanted to go that route. But, I don't know. I mean, the Black Shields weren't on point either. There was a few times the Black Shields missed. Came too late, yeah. yeah. Alright, well, I'm going to go post this up on the website. Congratulations to both teams again. Don't forget to follow us on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook, which is also facebook.com slash cotgamingtm. I will be changing up the Twitch page in a while, so you'll be able to just click on the links there, guys.